Hello, it is Misha from the Reflex team here, and I actually have a pretty big announcement to make. Um, I'm gay. No, um, I'm actually trans class, and um, the reason being is because my original class, which was IOP, was incredibly boring for me, and over the years that just sort of like really got to me, and the hunts became the most depressing thing ever, and I decided that, you know, I think I'm going to go ahead and play a class that, you know, actually requires skill. But, um, there are two issues with this. One, I don't have skill, and two, I've never actually played another class. And <laughs> th these can be issues, but I'm going to try and work around them. So we're going to be hunting a bunch more, and we're going to, you know, I'm going to try to learn this class while still being, like, about as efficient as I can be. Now, um, really quickly, I haven't actually changed my set. It's the same thing, still Strength Intel, as you guys can see. Everything's the same, still swapping out this trophy for, like, um, initiative or, like, intel, or, not intel, I mean, like, resistance if I need, and I can still, like, swap out this thing. It's all the same, it's the same set, um, same set at least, but then the characteristics are a smidge different. I only added, um, you know, I added an extra hundred to each of the strength and intel, but then I just put the rest into, uh, vitality like I normally do. Um, that's that. I'm going to transition into the fights now to show you some damage, and I'll be right back. Alright, so I'm in the fight now, and I'm about to show you guys some damage that I can do. Um, once again, haven't played this class a lot. I don't know many combos, so if I'm doing everything wrong, bear with me for a bit. I'm still learning how to use all this class and everything. Um... I'm actually going to start off with the intel spells, and then I'm going to show you the strength spells, and then I'm going to go into like the harpooner and whatnot. So, yeah. Just to start off, uh, pilfer, I guess. It does pretty decent damage, that was a crit, but if you want to look at like the estimated damage, it's about 279 to 359 max damage. And, so that's pretty good, especially for the range, it's like, um, I'll just show you, it goes about that far. So, it's pretty awesome. It's not range modifiable though, but I guess that's not that bad, is it? Is it? No, no, it's not. Um, then we have this one, which is Vapor. That's a pretty decent one. I feel like this is going to be really helpful in uh, Hunts because it has mad AoE. It's like the sort of high up, but I guess it's a bit less useful in the sense that it doesn't have as much, like, as many cells targeted. But it's whatever. It's still pretty nice. So damage on that guy is about 448 to 577, or a bit less if you're, like, attacking it further away. Next one is Surge, which is my favorite intel spell because it has like a free range and not just, it's not linear or diagonal. So, it's pretty nice. You could cast it twice on the same target in one turn, but I didn't have the AP for that, so there we go. All pretty decent damage. It also has a really nice passive, which is minus 15, minus 17 damage, depending on if you crit or not. Next spell is Anchor, which has a crazy long range, if I can remember. Yeah, like, this is... Absolutely insane. I assume it's range modifiable. Yeah, it is. So, um, Right now, this set gives four range, but I have an Observer Trophy that I can use to give it six if I need, and drop out the extra, what's it called, 320 bit. So, uh, yeah, that's that. The next one is Backwash, which is pretty good. It's not the greatest when it doesn't have the uh, Trident, like, proc or whatever on it. But um, as you can see, it does a ton more damage the next time it's like trigger or next time pushback damage is dealt on it. Why does this keep on opening up? <laughs> okay, um, that's nice. I don't want this to get any bigger. I don't. It's just there we go. So <laughs> gonna continue with this. Uh, yeah, as I was saying, backwash does a lot more damage when you have trident put on it. As you can see, the nine to ten earth damage or eleven to twelve earth damage, depending on if it crits is um it's ag it's added damage right here so try and, or backwash will do 21 to 25 as well as the 11 to 12 or 9 to 10 or whatever it said from trident so that's pretty decent um these are like new things that i'm learning too it's like i didn't know that like five minutes ago when i was testing this out but i just you know you got to read a lot of these things or i need to read a lot of these things and i haven't really paid too much attention because as i said just changed the class so that's all the abilities um trident's pretty good all of them are like buffed with a scaffender so i can do something like this I'm like uh, still still messing around but you know 
damage is just it, it's like higher than what it normally is. It's pretty straightforward. Um, one of the better abilities with Scaffender is actually if you have this set up on him and you have Scaffender, you, your backwash is going to do like a ridiculous amount of damage. So that's just a little neat thing to keep in mind. Um, what else? Oh, my daggers. Uh, the comparison is actually pretty interesting because when I have Scaffender on, as you can see, a crit for 919, so it's not that far off. Um, as a comparison to power and weapon skill on like the IOP and the normal damage is the same as power and weapon skill but then just weapon skill it's gonna hit the same as you can expect so it's not that bad the loss of power and replacement for scaffolders it's pretty decent especially because you get the extra 50 pushback damage so if someone had someone like the uh, trident on them and then you go ahead and stand here you can like release and it'll do a ton of damage just because they have that extra earth damage that they have to take so it's pretty awesome now i want to go over the uh harpooner but i gotta get a new one of these guys because this one's pretty much dead um yeah i guess i'll just cut until this thing respawns all right so here's another one that's just spawned and um yeah now i'm gonna show you guys the harpooner damage and Sadly, I can't show you the um, lifesaver damage that much because I don't have any allies or any other accounts that have that much HP to log into because ability and suffering are restricted and it's super late right now, so I'm not going to go bother them to get it unrestricted. Um, so yeah, Harpooner with no evolution, it's not going to hit that much. About 350s and on the crits, so I can tell you right now that um, they hit about 400, so it's not that great. And I'm just running behind this so that I don't get hit by it. Uh, 448, pretty decent. Uh, I don't have my evolution up. Whoops. Alright, so there we go. That's evolution 3. And just going to show you that right now. So, 484. And then this big one, which is 716. So that is total of 1,200? Is that? No, it can't be. No, that is 1,200, I think. Let me just go ahead and see, um, 200 minus 484, yeah, perfect math skills right here. Um, so anyways, uh, the point isn't showing, like, you know, what that is. Um, well, no, actually that is the point, but I also want to show you guys, uh, sweet combos, so I'm going to go ahead and try to get some of those. Uh, I just casted Scaffender, so this is like a buffed combo, or at least like the best I could do. I could add like the Trident first, take I... no, I'm not going to. Anyways, so, gonna do this, gonna do that, I don't know, I'll just stab it too, I guess. No weapons going on that, sadly. But that is, decent sum of damage, that's going from what, 494, 815, 1200, 1300-ish, plus this, 1800. Then you get 2,400 about, and yeah, so you get about 3,000 damage without even like fully buffing yourself or anything, which is definitely better than IOP, I'd say, because like DPS wise, maybe you're not going to get like a wrath that's in 5,000, but you're definitely getting a really, really nice just like set of damage and no one can really like, like you can't like cast evasion as a saker to avoid this, like as you could against a wrath. It's going to be a lot harder because... They don't have like a specific turn where they're going to do the most damage. It's pretty much any turn that like Harpoon is up. So, yeah. Also, a pretty nice combo is this guy and then two daggers, but the Harpoon is going to kill it anyway, so it doesn't really matter. So, yeah, that's Harpooner. I don't really have anything to show. Actually, wait. Maybe. Maybe I do. Whoops. Uh... I want to try to test the heals with lifesaver. <clears throat> oh. Right. Awesome. Oh my god, he has res. Uh, to test max 
feels. Alright, awesome. Uh, so he's getting that. I'm just going to go ahead and put down Lifesaver uh, over here. Going to evolve this. I'm trying to block its line of sight, so. Yeah. Don't take too much damage. <laughs> Alright. Uh, extend like there. Alright. Thank you very much. So, now this thing is going to be in evolution stage 3. Oh my dear god, dude. This thing is going to get some crazy heals, man. Look at that. So, okay. Anyways. That was pretty awesome. Uh, so, that's 300 plus 600, so that's 900 plus another almost 900. So, that's almost 2,000 heals in one, like, go, which is crazy amounts of health and um i can keep that up so that's pretty awesome especially like look I, all i gotta do is pass and then it heals him again it's awesome i'm actually i'm actually really confident because that's the first time i've actually seen it heal that much so thank you uh, thank you oh my god thank you yeah 1.8 thousand that's the full combo uh and uh, actually he knows he can end yeah, he's good. He's good. All right, awesome. So yeah, uh, it's a bit <laughs> uh, rough. I didn't know it was gonna heal that much, but it's cool nonetheless. Got about one thousand eight hundred heals total. Um, so yeah, can't say I'm not satisfied. Anyways, I guess that's all I really need to show you guys. <laughs> uh, I went through the heals, the lifesaver, everything. It's all good. So. Yeah, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys hopefully soon, and hopefully I will know how to play this character a bit better than I do now.